Good afternoon gentlemen, SBG back again briefly. I neglected to mention something in my last video and that was in respect to ageism. Although I did mention it in a comment I left below the last video and people being hired purely because of their age is also a big problem. And this idea has developed that us guys in our early 50s, mid 50s or late 50s are just old fashioned, we have no good ideas, we have nothing to really offer and that's just wrong because it's the older men who have most of the knowledge and experience and not just the men in their 50s, also the even older guys in their 60s, 70s, whatever. So. These older white men are not stupid and there's also this idiotic perception that we're all a bunch of rednecks, a bunch of racists and that we hate minority groups, etc. And that we are just a bunch of troublemakers, which is a load of nonsense. And I just want to touch on something else and that is that somebody left a comment on one of my videos a couple of weeks back i can't remember the specific the specific one at this time but this guy said that i'm just someone else in the manosphere who complains a lot and does not offer any constructive advice or ideas and i'd say to that guy who complains about people like myself and other guys who are making similar types of videos I'd say to these sort of people who are whining and complaining about guys like me that change starts at a micro level and then it leads to change on a macro level and some people like Jordan Peterson have spoke about this before I remember a couple of years ago or might have even been about a year ago i can't remember he was on the q a show in sydney it's that show on the abc which used to be very good but it's really gone downhill in recent years and a woman in the audience asked him a similar type of question and he replied that change starts with the individual starts with yourself and then it grows into something else, grows into something bigger. So then you have the macro type of changes, but you have to start first within your own community and the wider change happens later. So for example, if I saw something that I totally disagreed with, like an LGBTQ, LGBTG show, whatever you want to call it, for children at a church or a community center in my own suburb, of course, I would speak up about that, I would complain about that, but I'm not going to drive across to the, to the other side of the city and get involved in these issues because there's people in that community, in that suburb, who should be taking action. So you start off small in your own area and then change happens on a more widespread type of basis. So we can change things but we have to start with ourselves first so i think that making videos about certain issues can raise awareness and even though i don't really like normies that much i'm still part of this community i'm still visible in my own community and i still have to take some sort of interest in what's going on if there's some threat to the area where i live to my own community of course i need to be concerned about that and so should everyone else for example if there is a genuine environmental or social issue in your area you should try and get involved in that and we can work with certain individuals even if we don't really agree with them we can maybe come to some sort of um, compromise in some cases but um that's all I really 
want to say because I know that there are some people outside of MGTOW and outside of the red pill community, so to speak, who think we are just a bunch of whingers and we just complain and we just make videos for attention and because we are narcissists. And like I've said before, there are people within the manosphere who are just doing the videos for attention and they just like to hear themselves speak. I don't consider myself to be one of those individuals, but I just wanted to make this video to clear a few things up. You can let me know how you feel in regard to this. I'll upload this video a bit later. I just uploaded one not that long ago. So leave a few comments on that video as well. And hopefully I can talk to you again within the next few days. Cheers.